take Gravity here. So now it's time to um, take the Omega 500 uh, apart. And to make that a little bit easier, I have a magnetic tray here. I don't actually think we're going to need more than one type of screwdriver, but we'll see when we get started. And then I've um, reserved some plastic bags, zip bags, to be able to put the different components of screws in. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to reposition the camera so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. So, let's hope that this will provide adequate visibility. So, anyway, so here's the front side, and then to be able to open it, that we need to turn it over. And um, then we start with taking the screws to hold the cover on. That's one. And the magnetic tray works quite nicely because it um, allows you to stick the screws on so you can group them together and they won't fly around all over the place. Whoops. Yeah, maybe put it like that. Okay, how's the screw? No, I avoided the warrant. I actually have to look. Is there a screw in there? Strange. Okay, so that would be... Security seal. Okay, no returns. Okay, so it's the actual, it's not a Commodore thing, it's a, the seller has put it there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not in any, have any plans to whatever happens. I'm not, uh, oh, come on. They have to make it like that. So that means that this, this is going to be, uh, no, oh, thankfully not that difficult. It actually looks like I can clean that off. And actually, it wasn't even wrapped. It wasn't even wrapped around. There's no coloring on the other cover. Ah, oh, ah, it was just to cover the screw, of course. seen this approach before but ah the only thing it created is to mess this up. It's not exactly like these come with full guarantees or right? oh now it should also check that if it actually has anything under here. Now then, these screws here for the disk drive. So I'm thinking. There's no screws here, but there are these, these um, screws that need to come out, so there's three of them. And we can get it from the stock. Come on. 
open on the floor. Found it. these units when they, they've lost the cover then, then this edge connector can get damaged which of course is not nice these are all main signal um, bus okay. let's see if that's all the screws or this Cable and this is horribly rusted. This, this here should be like that. And as you see, uh, <laughs> yeah, this this needs to be. Um, so the keyboard will be its own project. And to get this out, switch bits again. It's either to try and find a, a shield that's in better shape or just to give it a mild sound. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so it's. It actually needs. Those need to be opened up. There's one there. It's just hidden because of the rustiness. Oh. 
Oh, there it is. There's two more. Oh, no, no. Charge the bit again. So this is sadly also an indication that this has not been stored in a dry location. As you can see, this rusting happens, of course, when the humidity is very high. It's not being kept in a climate-controlled environment. Yeah, one more tap. Oh, this is horribly rusty. Darn. There. There we go. So, as you see, it's. <laughs> but the um, underside is not that bad shape. And the mains board looks relatively clean and sort of okay. Not that bad. Disk station. One screw down here. Okay, that's a piece of tape on both sides. In place, I have to take it out first. I need to look underneath the underneath here to see how dirty it is. Not only way on the screw it and I think this like three screws all in the drive and the bottom hmm, looks pretty okay it's not that dirty or actually not dirty at all as I said the seller had pictures of where it was taken apart I'm assuming that the, that's what the seller did so Take the um let's see if we can just show it. Take that power and then there's the fluffy drive. Cable and then we need to just take those tapes away. I don't think those are original. Have a look at the actual this drive. It. Oh, if you hear the background noise of rain, it's because there's a 
rainstorms just hit us. So that's what's that? Not too dirty. Maybe do with a bit of air blowing. Now then, final act. I want to actually take this out. This the actual main board out of this protective cover because then we can see um, what it looks like underneath properly. It's not hard to evaluate if it doesn't take it. And there is a bit of like rustiness in there. And to do that one has to take out all these these individual nuts. So I will just um, do that and get back. I'm done. Okay, now we got thunder and lightning a little bit. Maybe I loosened, loosened up all the, all the walls. And some of them will go with this. Um, and then some of them I had to use the um, pliers because there was not enough space for this. But none of them are stuck. So Oh, that's, that's, that's thunder. Of course, everything, everything's relative, at least for our, our region. It's quite bad, quite a bang. So, I have to continue fiddling on the ones that are left. So, that's the main board out. Maybe a little bit of discoloration here. Just, ah, it's been a little bit of rework. I can see that one of the RAM chips has been swapped out, I suppose. Because that definitely looks like some, some rework. Otherwise, the then it has this plastic protection, and there's a bit of. Okay, that's interesting. One of the connectors <laughs> falling apart. Okay. Not that difficult to fix, but it's. Usually these are riveted. So if you see like there, it's riveted. And this one doesn't seem to be. Just a casual review, it looks like just one of the round chips has been swapped out. Or resoldered. Otherwise it looks kinda okay. And then the base. Some, some rust visible. Not in the best shape. 
for that, so not the best shield that I've seen. So that's that's for that. Disassemble this. That means taking lots of individual screws out. And probably have to remove the control balls. And then we can get behind it and then we can see if we can see anything. So now uh, we'll get started to unscrew all those. when I'm finished. And if you're gonna take the keyboard controller off then it's it's got this flat cable. And to be able to release it you just you just push this forward and it actually moves quite easily. So it's not. Sometimes these also can create connection problems. Yeah. And then it, uh, you just take the other sc the screws out and then it out as, as a complete unit. Oh, that's not where we should be all the screws out. And then it just lifts off. And that's the back side of it. And then we have a look at the membrane. Which is this part. Up. And then you can turn it around. Oh, this looks kind of like that. What it says that it was these keys that it had problems with. Maybe a little bit of dirt, but nothing terribly serious. I no, can't really see anything in the, in the actual key switches either that are terribly wrong. So if it was these. Um, direction keys that won't work in very well. Not really see it. Like uh, if the good thing is to compare it to some other keys, like just to do they look substantially different? It's always possible that there's also over time there's some liquid in, that's got onto this surface. <laughs> like soft drinks and other things that may not or may not got in there and it's not not super um not super easy to see that other than now that one can actually this is not electronics, this is just plastic, so one can actually give this up. A careful wash down and clean it up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some contact cleaner to clean this off. As I said, the connector can also be an issue. Uh, 
don't seem worse. And I'm gonna put some contact cleaner on the on the contact. And actually, when I was taking it apart, uh, this lock wasn't fully engaged, so it was kind of like lopsided like that. Not that I know that it really has any make any difference, but it is locked in like that, and then open like that. So. Always a possibility that it causes some issues. So anyway, that's how you um, take an Omega 500 completely to bits. And, uh, I may or may not make another video about um, cleaning some of the stuff. But I think I might be looking for shield. The, the top shield I might actually look for an, another used one online. See if I can buy a set of that. And the keyboard what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up like I said and then um, and then we can um, I'm just going to test and see how it works. If the cleaning didn't help. You can actually um, you can get membranes um, not new ones but the used ones you can find online. Or you can actually buy the whole keyboard unit also on, online so um, yeah, we'll just have to give it a go and see um, how it will end up and if you're interested to follow the progress then um, consider subscribing hit the bell for notifications and um, I'll see you in the next one